Next, Liz Sturridge interviews her mother, Jean Sturridge, who is a lawyer with St. Clair County Risa. Hi, and welcome to Student Connections. I'm your host, Liz Sturridge, and joining us today in the studio is Jean Sturridge. Hi, welcome for, thank you for being here. You're welcome, thanks for inviting me. So you've been probably asked this a million times before, but what is your career? I'm an attorney. Um, I work, sometimes people call us lawyers or counselors at law, but I'm an attorney. And I work for the St. Clair County Regional Educational Service Agency, known as RESA. Um, in school districts, um, you have typically a superintendent, and then you have what are called cabinet posts or directorships. Some school districts call them um, assistant superintendents. But in our school district, a director is responsible for a number of employees and a number of job responsibilities. I'm responsible for the legal services and for human resources at the St. Clair County Risa. What's your motivation? Well, originally, I wanted to be a lawyer because I really wanted to help people. And I decided that um, I, you know, I grew up in a family where helping was really important. I had teachers and, and administrators that were my parents, but public service was a huge uh, deal for us. And so my motivation was truly to help others by understanding rights, responsibilities, and trying to make life better for others. Oh, I see. What do you, what do you like, think is most rewarding about your career that you picked? Well, what's most rewarding, I think, about the, the profession of law um, is really that um, I interact with people and I get to know them at their best and at their worst. Um, right now, my uh, job is at the school district, but prior to that, of course, I was in the prosecuting attorney's office in Oakland County and in St. Clair County, um, which I did for almost 15 years. And then I went to schools and I've been there over, no, almost nine, I shouldn't say over nine, I'm completing my ninth year. Um, at St. Clair County Recent. So what's rewarding about it is really making sure that uh, school districts or public government entities do the best job they can for its citizens and then make sure that um, people follow the rules. What do you think is most rewarding about it? I'm, I'm able to um, make things work that other people say, oh, we can't possibly do it because of funding, or we, oh, we can't possibly do this because of this reason or that reason, and my job is to find ways to make positive changes and make things work for the most uh, students and families. What's the main part of your job like today? Well right now <clears throat> in the school district I spend very little time in court which was the bulk of my old job. Um, so what I do now is, is I work uh, in training uh, different uh, professionals, principals, teachers, administrators, what the rules are, how to handle different um, situations. I do a lot of paperwork. I write contracts and I interpret contracts. I write letters on behalf of the school district. I do student discipline. Um, so there are a lot of different responsibilities, but I hardly ever get to go to court, sadly. What brought you to St. Clair County? Because you said you were in Oakland County before. Right. I grew up in Oakland County. Um, I grew up with a mom and a dad and a sister. And we lived in Oakland County, so that was my first um, experience in, in Oakland County Prosecutor's Office. And then after that, um, I met your dad. And uh, my husband was from Croswell, Michigan. And he was working in Detroit, and I was working in Oakland County. And ultimately, we wanted to raise our family in this general area. So we wanted to get up here and we heard lots of positive things about Marysville and with all my work in the prosecutor's office, we knew this was a strong community, nice, you know, good, safe neighborhoods, good cost of living and uh, great schools. And we've been really happy with our move. You mentioned your parents, your sister, and now your family. Is family a big part of your life? It really is a big part of my life and always has been. Um, and I think you might know a little something about that um, because I do spend a, a lot of time uh, enjoying my children, um, my spouse, my parents, my sister. So family is huge to us um, and, and that really has carried over in my practice of, of law and in the school district. I'm very grateful to work for a person who values kids and families and takes good care of his own family, um, Mr. DeGroe, and so I'm very happy to be working there so I have a little more flexibility for my family. Never missed a single one of my games, just saying. <laughs> what does RESA stand for? RESA is the Regional Educational Service Agency. And we changed our name several years ago because the, some of the, the federal legislation had talked about educational service agencies. Uh, we used to be called the Intermediate School District, St. Clair County Intermediate School District. Um, so people probably know us by that name. 
Um, but we are the same place, we're at, located at the same place on 499 Range Road. We do the same kinds of services. We have Woodland, mm -hmm. uh, the Tech Center, as well as an administrative component. So those are the other three buildings that are also on the campus of the RISA? Correct. What and are their purposes? Well, the Tech Center, um, so many students know about the Tech Center. Um, that's where we teach um, vocational and career preparation type courses. You spend a half a day uh, working in your home schools and then all seven districts in our county will send kids um, to us and then we have a variety of job experiences and, and life experiences. Woodland is the developmental center where the approximately 200 um, most um, impacted by either a cognitive disability, a, a brain function or physical or both um, attend school and get services mm -hmm. uh, that they wouldn't be able to receive in their home schools like in Marysville Marysville couldn't support those students like we do, so we bring them from all over the country, or country, county. We <laughs> could bring them from all over the country, but we bring them from all over the county, and we have some wonderful programs that are actually national models. And then in the administration building is where we have our general education, where we have consultants and the information technology network, and we have a lot of, you'd be surprised how many lives we touch uh, of your classmates just with our, our presence in the county. What? You said seven school districts came to Tech. Which ones are those? Well, we have Algonac Community Schools, and we have the East China School District, which has both Marine City and St. Clair. We then have Marysville and Port Huron Area School District, which includes both Port Huron High School and Port Huron Northern. Then we go out west to the Memphis School District, and then there is KPAC, which is partially in, uh, well, Memphis is partially in, uh, a little piece of it's in Macomb County, but mainly in St. Clair County. KPAC is mainly in St. Clair County, but I think it touches Lapeer County. And then Yale touches, um, is mostly in St. Clair, but touches Thalac County and Lapeer. So those are our seven, what we call constituent districts. Those are the people we serve at the RISA. So what did you do in Oakland County? Because you said it was different. Right, in Oakland County, I was the, um, I was a, a, a assistant prosecuting attorney, <clears throat> excuse me, but what I did is I headed up what was called the Child Sexual Assault Unit. So I was the director and, and tried a variety of cases involving children as victims and adults as offenders. And that included sexual assault, physical assault, um, homicides and things of that nature. And then I came to St. Clair County as an assistant prosecuting attorney. You don't just transfer, you have to get hired into two different offices and I worked um, in St. Clair County doing similar crimes but all felonies. <clears throat> so I was in high profile crimes there. What do you think was most rewarding about your Oakland County job? In the Oakland County um, experience that I had, it was really, um, I think the thing that was most rewarding is we were instrumental, we being the prosecuting attorney's office, was instrumental in, in creating a unit that handled crimes against children. And back in 1989, when I started in, the, I started in 1988 in that job, um, but in 1989 when we had our um, advocacy center and our care house, as we called it, we were able to interview kids who had been hurt or injured or assaulted, physically, sexually, emotionally, you know, neglected and whatnot. And we were able to bring together a series of professionals, um, social workers, police, and everybody, and bring them in. So children, we were able to reduce the number of interviews that they had and try to reduce the trauma. So the rewarding part was not just developing what I thought was a wonderful opportunity for Oakland County to really value its children, but we also were able to um, come forward, really advance the practice in the county, gain recognition across the state and country, and really do some really good work in legislation and making sure that children were protected. So those things all happened while I was working in Oakland County and on those issues. I found that very rewarding. Well, that's all the time we have today. Jean, thank you for coming in. My pleasure. Thanks. And we'll be right back after this.